The Herculean aesthetic is a term I'm using to refer to a type of physique that is epitomized by the Farnese Hercules sculpture. It's a large physique characterized by mountainous traps and neck, a strong thick waist, heavily muscled back and posterior chain, and thick arms and forearms. It's the kind of physique that strikes some primal part of you with awe and fear. Your animal brain knows that this man is incredibly strong and dangerous. Let's break down the Herculean aesthetic in more detail. This physique is more about strength than aesthetics. Shoulder to waist ratio, which I talk about so much on this channel, is not that important in this case. While most bodybuilders aspire towards the V taper as the most aesthetic and attractive body shape a man can have, this Herculean physique is more of an X taper, featuring wide shoulders, a thick strong waist and big legs. This is a great goal physique for men with wider waists who would struggle to achieve the strong V-taper of those blessed with small waists. I think this is the kind of physique a lot of natural strong men would have if they leaned down and lost a lot of their excess fat. Strongman training requires strong traps, posterior chain and core which are muscles highly developed in this sculpture. Many enhanced strongmen today would look much bigger than this, especially in the traps, shoulders and arms because of the androgen receptor density in these muscles. Another fairly important part of this physique is having a low body fat percentage. If you look at the original sculpture or early copies of it, you can see there's not a tremendous amount of definition, but the bicep vein and the abs are still visible, so we can assume that body fat percentage is below 16% or something like that. Some of the drawings of this sculpture depict a much leaner Hercules, where the separation between muscles is really clear. So the leanness of the depictions varies, but the overall proportions remain the same. Besides the overall size, strength and leanness of this physique, there are some more specific characteristics we can identify. You can see he has truly mountainous traps and a thick neck. The chest isn't massive, especially the upper chest. You could see a lot of gym bros in commercial gyms with more full and round chests than this one. He has very broad shoulders, so he was blessed with long clavicles or collarbones, which is a genetic trait, which determines the width of your shoulders. And given he has a fairly small head, this makes his shoulders appear even wider. And speaking of his shoulders, they are obviously very strong, but not as big as a lot of gym bros you'd see today who spam lateral raises or use anabolic steroids. But for natural lifters, these are very good shoulders to aspire to. Another very important part of this physique is the thick waist. This Hercules has big obliques, which comes from uh, rotational strength and stabilizing when lifting heavy loads. And another very important part of the physique is the heavily muscled thick upper back. His lats are not massively wide, but the thickness of his upper back is much more important. You can also clearly see he has thick upper arms and forearms, but I would say there's not so much difference between the size of his upper arms and forearms. Some people neglect training forearms in order to give the illusion of bigger upper arms, but in this case, both the forearms and the upper arms are very well developed. And of course, it's impossible to ignore his well-developed posterior chain, the glutes and hamstrings, and even his calves are all very well developed. His quads as well, very good. You can see a nice quad sweep, his hamstrings and glutes are like bulging. In my opinion, the back side of his body, so his back, his glutes, hamstrings, is more important than the front side. And on the front side, the most prominent features are obviously his very strong core and shoulders. For an idea of what is achievable naturally, we can look at the old time strongmen, like the men on screen, from left to right, George Hackenschmidt, Bobby Pandor, and Eugen Sando. These guys basically maximized their natural potential because anabolic steroids didn't exist back then. These were the peak physiques that humans could achieve naturally back then. Today, we have better knowledge of training, nutrition, and recovery, so we can go even further than these. I bring these up because I think these are kind of exemplary of the Herculean physique. They have really strong strong wide cores, uh, strong shoulders and arms. If they turned around, you'd see they'd have very strong backs, but the width of their back is not that important. It's more about the thickness and their chests are not bulging out like a lot of gym bros today. Chests were not emphasized as much back then. And they also had very strong legs, which is a part often neglected today by gym bros. I think perhaps the person who best exemplifies his physique today is a lean half Thor Bjornsson. He has 
thick waist, huge traps. Thor is a genetic specimen, of course, but his strongman training is what led to these muscles being developed in particular. Most strongmen have a substantial layer of fat over their muscles to aid with performance, but underneath, many of them would have these key attributes of huge traps, thick, strong core, and heavily muscled posterior chain. I'm not gonna give a program because a physique like this would take years to build and programming needs are gonna change over that long training career. But I can give some general training guidelines that I think will develop the muscles important for this physique. I've been talking throughout this video about strongman training and things like farmer walks and other carries, overhead pressing, uh, doing high reps with heavy weight to develop muscular endurance. All of these things are gonna get you, you know, this thick, strong core, the big traps, forearms, the posterior chain, all that stuff that's important for this Herculean aesthetic. Farmer walks and other carries are going to develop the forearms and the traps. Carries in front of the body like Zercher carries or Zercher squats are going to train the posterior chain which has to stabilize holding that weight in front of your body and obviously your core as well. Strongmen use atlas stones which obviously requires huge back strength to hold that weight in front of you. To get the obliques and that thick waist you can mostly develop those just from doing heavy squats, front squats and deadlifts because they're going to be stabilizing your core throughout that movement. You could also do rotational ab work. So I saw a comment on Reddit discussing the Farnese Hercules physique and someone mentioned farmers and how they throw hay bales and how their obliques grow from that hay bale tossing. This explosive twisting and throwing will definitely strengthen and grow the obliques and the rest of the core. And you could get similar benefits from other throwing sports like hammer throw or shot put. Very important in strongman is overhead pressing like the log press or yoke press. These are gonna really develop the shoulders and the upper back. And for the rest of the back, lots of rowing is gonna be really good for the upper back thickness. Squatting, obviously amazing for quads and glutes. Deadlifts for the posterior chain, the glutes, hamstrings, and lower back. And if you need some more glute work, you could do hip thrusts as well. And if all this heavy lifting hasn't developed your neck to the extent you'd like to you could isolate it with neck curls and neck extensions and I would also suggest adding some prowler or sled work like pushing the prowler or pulling it along the floor which is great for the legs so just to summarize the training guidelines I think you should include farmer walks and carries holding things in front of the body like zercher squats front squats zercher carries or atlas stones overhead pressing sled push or dragging squats for the legs, deadlifts for the posterior chain, and lots of rowing for the back thickness. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. This physique is definitely achievable naturally, and I think it's a great one to aim for if you have a wider waist, so you can go for that X taper look instead of the V taper that you usually see. This is definitely the kind of physique that's gonna command respect, and people are gonna know that you're really strong, and it's certainly still very aesthetic, especially if you have a low body fat percentage. And that's it for today. Hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video. If you've seen my video on Toji's physique and you're interested in the complete guide to achieving Toji Fushiguro's physique, including a physique analysis and weightlifting or calisthenics training programs tailored to suit your needs and efficiently maximize muscle growth, check out the link at the top of the description.